but Iraq returns to the competition after a 45-year absence. Let's take a look at the story of Sarah Eaton and her journey to Miss Universe. I was born in Baghdad uh, the same year that uh, the war happened to the Desert Storm. It became normal, like I see a car bomb, we would hear an explosion and we just pray it's not going to be our house. So it actually left uh, the, the entire city of Baghdad completely destroyed. I was actually born at that hospital over there. It was unsafe, like you couldn't move around, especially I couldn't like go outside, like, you know, without wearing hijab. I knew I wanted to leave the country. I went uh, to the green zone and I talked to the American troops and I said, I want to work with you because I know that if you work with them, then there's a chance you can go to the U.S. I was working for the coalition forces. I was wanted, like in the eyes of, you know, terrorists and all of that. And I knew that it was really bad outside. I didn't trust anybody around me. And I was just like in that state of mind, are people going to find out? Are they going to try to kill me or anything? I know a lot of people are against the pageant. They think it's against Islam, and they think it's not an appropriate time for Iraq to have a beauty pageant right now. I am a Muslim, but I want to represent Christians, Jews, uh, Kurdish, everyone in Iraq. I hope that they will look at it with an open mind, and they will think we are proud of her, like she presenting our country in front of the entire world. It always takes like one person to do one thing or say one thing and then give the others courage to make a change. All right, now that, that is an amazing story.